Michigan's Little Bavaria transformed into a frozen wonderland for Zender Snowfest. The festival features a little something for everyone, <laughs> and if you're heading out tonight, you probably already know, but you'll definitely want to layer up. Indeed. TV5's David Custer and Colette Boyd live in Frankenbooth now with a look at all that's happening. Oh my goodness, you guys. David and Colette here. We are having such a blast here at Zender's Snowfest, the winter wonderland. Thousands Absolutely. are checking out all these ice sculptures and, and snow sculptures. It's amazing. Yes, a lot of snow and ice yes. out here right now. It is really cold outside, but surprisingly, there's a lot of green coming into Frankenmuth as well this weekend. That's right. TV5's James Felton is out and about showing us all about the economic boost to the area. David, Collette, businesses in Frankenmuth are hoping to cash in thanks to all the people visiting town this weekend. Really good. We appreciate all the business when people come in. This is a good year this year. No rain. Rosa Barajas is head prep cook at Poblano's in Frankenmuth. The Mexican Grill and Cantina is like a lot of businesses in Little Bavaria ready to welcome throngs of customers attending Zender Snowfest. Well, the people that come for the ice sculptures, they come and they see us and they like our food and they like the place and then they'll come back whenever they come back, you know, later on in the year. That's what Daniel Millar and Cody Dixon did. The pair took part in Zender Snowfest last year, telling us the food was so good they had to have it again. I was actually a little under the weather, but my teammates brought me some leftovers, and even the leftovers were so good, we had to come try it this year. The enchiladas were amazing. They were just wonderful. And the nachos, big plate of nachos. So if you're a fan of nachos, I'd definitely say you try it out too. Meanwhile, the old Christmas station restaurant is gearing up for a steady stream of foot traffic. We see new people. We can uh, introduce ourselves to people that maybe have not been here before. Barbara Heidinger is the owner, telling us Zender Snowfest is a boost for winter business. January is rather a slow month for restaurants and for Frankenmoose as well. And um, so it makes January a little bit more fun. She hopes tourists and locals alike will try her new dish, especially made for this weekend. Pork tenderloin with um, risotto and uh, um, mushroom cream. It's very nice. Back at Poblano's, Barajas is hoping those 21 and older will take advantage of her Zender Snowfest deal. Our margaritas are half off right now during the festival. Have a margarita, have something to eat, and warm up, and then go back down again. So as you can imagine, those businesses would love it if people would stop in for a little food and drink after checking out these snow sculptures. David Collette, back to you. 